Lowe and his teammate Ty Jordan, who died late last year. Gene Wojciechowski is with us now. And, and Gene, the Utes have just had to deal with unimaginable and profound grief. Well, Reese, Utah coach Kyle Whittingham recently put a new frame photo on his office desk. He says when he looks at it, and he looks at it all the time, that it reminds him of the fragility of life. The photo features two Utah players that will forever have a place in his heart. Teammates Aaron Lowe and Ty Jordan. For the second time in 10 months, the University of Utah football team traveled to suburban Dallas, Texas. Not to play a game, but to say a goodbye. More than 800 people attended the memorial service of 21-year-old Utah cornerback Aaron Lowe. I didn't want it to be true. I kept thinking it was a dream, because he was my baby. He was a big old mama's baby. It's your, you know, your worst nightmare. It was like, yeah. You know, this can't be happening again. Aaron Lowe was Texas born and lived for family and football. At West Mesquite High School, he found another Texan who felt the exact same way. His name was Ty Jordan. He came home and he was like, Mom, I met a guy today. Boy, he bad to the bone. They bonded and it was just like his little brother. They were always laughing, playing, and dancing. They're just having a good time. Lowe and Jordan became best friends, teammates, and stars at West Mesquite. Lowe was a year older, played defensive back, and then signed with Utah. Jordan was a running back who initially committed to the University of Texas. And then when Aaron graduated and went off to Utah, that was his whole thing. My mama get Ty up here with me. Aaron called him and I uh, was like, you should definitely come out here. And he did. He made sure that Ty was gonna come to Utah and play football. When Ty got here, they were just bestest of friends. And when you think of one, you think of the other. Ty Jordan! See you later! Touchdown Utah! Ty was electric. It seemed like he was destined for greatness. On December 19, 2020, a Pac-12 Offensive Freshman of the Year scored the go-ahead touchdown in a season finale win against Washington State. Ty Jordan! On Christmas Day, Jordan and Lowe were back home in Texas. I just remember Aaron getting the phone call, and I just heard him scream. And I run in there, and he was just bald, and he was like, Mama Ty. And I was like, well, Aaron, what happened to Ty? And that's when he told me that Ty had been shot. I got a call from Kyle McDonald, our running back coach. His exact words is, there's been, been an accident and Ty is no longer with us. We begin with heartbreaking news. North Texas native and Utah star running back Ty Jordan was killed in Denton this weekend. According to the Tarrant County Medical Examiner, Ty Jordan died from an accidental self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was 19. In early January, the entire Utah team attended Jordan's memorial service at AT&T Stadium. He was buried wearing his Utah football uniform. When the Utes opened this season on September 2nd, a portal was named in his honor and his best friend was the first ever recipient of the Ty Jordan Memorial Scholarship. It really wasn't that close of a vote. I mean, it was Aaron by, uh, I guess you could say a landslide. He decided to wear the number 22. He wanted to carry his friend's legacy. They was from the same community, same high school, and he just felt like that that's what he should do because that was his best friend. On September 25th, Nine months to the day of Jordan's death, 
Lowe was part of Utah's win against Washington State. Afterward, there was a party and a confrontation at a nearby Salt Lake City house. I was there. A friend had came in and said something had happened and uh, went outside and, you know, it was just bad, all bad. According to the Salt Lake City Police, Lowe was shot multiple times and died at the scene. This cannot be true. I've asked the question I think a million times why. Can't make sense of it. Because he wasn't, he didn't deserve it. And when they said that he had been shot and he passed away, I just was undone. I stayed in the bed the whole day. It was like reliving Ty all over again. He had a lot of life ahead of him, just like Ty. They're special. These guys are just special. Whatever the it is in the universe, they have it. And I'm just upset that it's gone. On a sun-drenched October 11th afternoon in Dallas, Aaron Lowe, just like his best friend Ty Jordan, was buried wearing his Utah football uniform. They shared a jersey number. And now, they share a piece of Texas earth. They were friends. That's what Ava would want, to be with Ty. It gives me great comfort to know that he's not alone. They walked a path, a journey together in life, and now they're walking that path and that journey together in death. On October 3rd, a suspect was arrested and earlier this week charged on four counts, including aggravated murder. Meanwhile, the University of Utah football program has decided to retire the number 22, a gesture that touched the hearts of both families. And a scholarship has been established in the name of Aaron Jordan, excuse me, Aaron Lowe. And the first contributor to that fund, Kyle Whittingham.